Hey guys, Andy here. Um, just kind of want to throw a little thought out there. What do you just gun control back in the uh, 1800s? How do you think gun control was back then? I mean, I don't think there was any. You know, you're allowed to carry guns. And what happened? You know, how many people got shot? I mean, other than you know, cowboys against Indians. I'm not talking that. I'm talking like in an urban area, in the town. Why do you think people got shot? Did they just, you know, have random murders? Very, very few and far between. Most of the reason guys got shot back then were, you know, cattle thieves, stealing cattle of some sort, horse, goat, whatever, cow. The other guys mainly, you know, got shot in saloons, poker cheaters, or or if they were hurting a woman or, or you know, a man's wife. That's the three main reasons that I can even think of. You know, if you guys think of something else that I missed, you know, leave it in the comments. But that was it. And, it, you know, there was a lot less killing per person alive in America back then. A lot less. And that, you know, still lives on today in, in Texas. Go to Texas sometime, you know. Everybody's carrying a gun. I've driven through there. So, you know, just back in the 1800s though, that's what this is about, you know. Try to imagine back in the 1800s, there's a saloon full of guys in there, till full of money. Imagine walking in there with a gun trying to rob that saloon. Like these you know, bank robbers do today. Try to imagine that. What's going to happen to you? I guarantee you're not walking out. Just, it wouldn't happen. You know, I mean, it's our right to bear arms. Our unremovable right in the Constitution to bear arms. You know, it's not good for the government to try and take our guns away. You know, there may be a time when, you know, there's somebody in the government that just meets up with this one crazy guy that's going to shoot and kill that government man because I didn't have a gun to shoot him first because he'd already attacked me or attacked my family. You know? They got to think about it that way. You know, back in the 1800s, they, there wasn't no just random killings, you know. I mean, sure, there was one or two crazy guy here or there, but they didn't live very long. Especially if they went into a town. You had to mind your manners back then. And people have kind of lost that today. They've lost that today. So, kind of a just a little thought I wanted to throw out there on, on gun control in the 1800s.